Hello, my name is Dan Phillips, owner and technical advisor for U.S. Seller Systems. Today we are going to be covering the installation of our DC controller. When you order a controller, items you will receive are the controller, the mounting clips, and the temperature sensor. Then if you want them, we have the option of a DCP mounting plate which will allow you to mount it into a standard 20 or 23 cubic inch electrical box. We also offer an optional 25 foot wiring harness for you. When installing the controller, you place it through the plate and then push your mounting clips onto the back of it that mounts the controller to your digital controller mounting plate. Then bring your wires in through the back of your electrical box wherever you have it mounted. Be sure you follow code when you do this. This is a high voltage system and your wiring will most likely have to be run in conduit. You will also want to bring your temperature sensor in through the back of it and be sure it does not come in at the same place as the high voltage electrical wiring because the magnetic field off the high voltage wiring can distort your readings on the low voltage wiring. So when you're making your connections at the back of the controller with the standard wiring harness you're going to have two black wires, a white wire, and a red wire. You're going to need a small screwdriver in order to work the screws on the back of the controller. Your first black wire will go into the connection at number five on the back of the digital controller. Your second black wire goes into number two on the back of the controller. Your white wire goes into number four. And the red wire will go into number three. Once those connections are made and tightened down, your wire for your temperature sensor will go into number 10 and number 11. Now the best location to put the sensor itself is as close to the return air as possible of your evaporator coil. If the five foot lead that it comes with is not long enough, you can extend this up to 50 feet with 18 gauge thermostat wire. Once all of your connections are made and the digital controller is slid into the box and the screws tightened down, that finishes the installation of the digital controller itself. After that we'll be ready to go on to the wiring of the evaporator coil. Thank you.